Here at Northumbrian Water, our vision is to be the industry leaders in the provision of water and wastewater services. This includes achieving leading water quality. As part of achieving this vision, we are introducing our Treated Water Charter. This sets the standards that we expect to see at our treatment works and on our water network. Soon, the Treated Water Charter will be displayed at our offices and our sites. The following short film highlights some of its key points. Fences, barriers, gates and doors should be kept secure and maintained to reduce risk of trespass and unauthorised entry. All our signs should appear well maintained and should reflect the status of the site. Any redundant signs will be removed. Roads, paths and walkways will be kept clear of weeds, hazards and obstructions. Toilets, wash areas and mess rooms should be kept clean and hygienic at all times. They should be left in the way we would like to find them. Buildings should be kept clean, painted and maintained. Treatment processes should be kept clear of vegetation. Trees and bushes should be well maintained as they can affect the integrity of our process structures. PPE and safety equipment should be clean and stored in dedicated locations. Blue diamond areas should be respected and any relevant hygiene precautions should be taken before entry. Safety signage and chemical data sheets should be accurate and kept up to date. Dosing systems should be kept clean with all guards maintained and in place. All waste should be tidied up straight away, stored appropriately and removed from site. Batching areas should be maintained to a standard that ensures no health and safety risk. Chemicals should be stored and handled in accordance with relevant legislation. Instrumentation validation and calibration records should be up to date and filed in accordance with quality procedures. Site documentation and plans should be stored appropriately. Site security is also important at our service reservoirs. Gates should be locked when we are not at site to reduce the risk of trespass. Our fencing should be kept secure to avoid any livestock getting onto site. Any areas of our site with overgrown vegetation, such as this, should be kept clear and tidy so we can gain access to maintain our assets. Any vermin damage, like this molehill, should be reported and appropriate action taken. Regulatory sample taps and cabinets are the responsibility of the site owner. They should be maintained to a high level of cleanliness and will be kept secure. Any redundant instruments, pipework and equipment should be disconnected and removed. When carrying out work on the distribution system, there is a risk to the quality of our customers' supply. Any risks to the quality of customer water supplies should be escalated. Storage areas in vehicles should be kept clean and equipment stored in an orderly manner. Vehicle welfare facilities should be maintained to ensure hygiene can be assured. All spare fittings and pipework should be kept in clean, dedicated areas to prevent contamination. In line with the disinfection code of practice, chlorination ensures that fittings coming into contact with treated water are disinfected. If we have changed any assets, then a GIS update must be submitted at the earliest opportunity. The Treated Water Charter is applicable to everybody who works in our treatment works or who works in our network. For example, members of our scientific services team make sure 
that final water samples are representative by following clear hygiene procedures when taking the samples. Our maintenance team respect the Blue Diamond areas and ensure that all workwear and tools are appropriate for the job and are clean, and our leakage teams and meter field services department ensure that all new meters are put into clean chambers and disinfected so there is no risk for our customers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short film about our treated water charter. There is a lot of great work going on to get us to where we want to be in terms of leading water quality and you are all making a difference in the way you carry out your role every day. Our journey continues and this charter represents a significant step on the path as we set out the standards we all expect to see at our treatment works and on our water network. In some cases it will take time to achieve these standards and I would really encourage you to have a look at the Charter and think about how you can help us to achieve our goals. If you have any feedback on the Charter then please raise your points with your team leader or your manager. Thanks again for your time.